Atlas next lead looks solid. We're seeing heavy locust activity in the city of Claiborne, just like you said. Ukon's there. Be ready for anything. Shadow Coast here, and welcome back to Gears Tactics. We are taking on the first boss in Act 1, Chapter 6. In this episode, I am going to outline, in my opinion, the most effective way to defeat this boss. Because he is extremely difficult. So we're at the end of uh, Chapter 6. Um, I died a couple times, so I'm loading right into it. And I'm going to outline the key strategy. So first, what I would do is... Ensure that yeah, you take it. out the broom ox guns. Now they don't do a lot of damage, but later in the fight they're going to be a heavy nuisance. So once you take out these two weapons, the main thing you have to worry about is just dodging rockets and not getting too close to them. So let's get to work. In most cases, you can focus fire down one of the weapons uh, in the we first take out his guns. It's one less thing to worry about. First try. So we're gonna. Take him out. Now I'm saving. Hmm. On it. I'm getting a little greedy here. But that's okay. I think that'll be fine. Right. Now we want to keep at least a movement range distance so he can't come up and stop because the stop I think is in my opinion the most deadly yes. so I might be regretting not using my uh we'll go. yeah I'm regretting not using my ability there for two shots because I wasn't able to take it out but if I did I probably would have been able to so that's the key here it's kind of a four step process step one disable the turrets or guns now you're gonna see here when he shoots us, it does some minor damage, but what's more important is it's destroying um, cover, and it is taking us down a pip or two. So later, later in the game, that's going to be super critical, especially when they're wretches and potentially other drones that you have to, you have to contend with. Does a monster this nasty really need rockets too? Who does that? The asshole you just went loose cannon on. That's who. Hey, that was a clean kill. How was I supposed to know Ukon's some kind of super grub? So we're gonna start working our way on on this one. And I'm not going to risk it. It's okay if you want to start taking shots at the um, tank. That's fine. Although we missed that time. Um, so we're just turning him around so part of the reason I did that was I couldn't hit a gun and second I now have the ability to hit this one but it's only a 50% chance I wonder if I move here does that it goes down it gets worse so we're gonna wait be right there I'm gonna move you out here. 100% chance. I'm gonna pop my ability. And. So we're gonna reload. And we're gonna science this actually. I didn't. I don't know if this works. So. If we destroy this component, does that count as a downed or killed? Let's see. Weapon destroyed. Should slow him down. I I don't think it does. Stand 
Hitting the road. Now, step one again is take out the guns. Step two is going to be focus on a side. So he's heading this way. We're gonna bring our guys over here. Uh, you always want to have um, at least someone on each side of him so you can flank him because you could see there when we hit the tank he's going to turn back and forth that's all right so step two is prioritizing e-holes so this is super super critical in transit always pri oh man i should have reloaded um reloaded. instead always prioritize e-holes make sure you cover them got my eyes peeled we're gonna Down reload we and we're gonna come over here just to give us a little distance because i don't want them to um hit us off the bat. So you two are can you not moving shoot them from this angle? Alright, we're just gonna gonna come back here and hide. I'm gonna get partial cover mainly because I don't want to get close to this and I don't want to All cheese right. me. Alright, we're gonna take out that other gun, but we're prioritizing the E hole. Whoa, so that's move. step two prioritize E holes and take out wretches. They're way more deadly. Focus on this gun, Michaela. You can see it doesn't do too much damage, but it's disruptive. Once we take out that gun, we can then kind of more confidently run out in open space and not have to worry about taking extra damage. Ooh, they got us. Ow, that's what I was worried about. Prioritize taking this e hole out. Uh, this is not ideal. Um, I'm here. Gonna focus on taking this gun out. So we got swift, so we're gonna reload. Now I think we should be good on distance. We are going to kind of move you as far away as possible. Stomp now. is the most deadly ability, so if he gets close, he stomps, you're gonna take more damage, get pushed back. That's the thing you're gonna really want to avoid. Why is this thing so hard? Normally it's not this hard to take out those weapons, but I also screwed up my first turn, where I probably should have used Michaela's ability to um, a better extent. And we're actually not actually in range. We're gonna move up a little more. Brace yourself. So, 
Priority, take out his guns, step one. Step two, prioritize e holes and take out wretches. Oh no. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, we're gonna get some group healing going. Alright, once we take out this weapon. Um, we're gonna we're gonna start moving shifting this way uh, nope. uh, Michaela what's more important is putting some distance here so we're gonna come back here and if we can take out this oh so close So miss great so now we can stay out in the open assuming there aren't any drones yeah. and that's Both super helpful because down. this this game's about you know strategy and positioning so yeah so now we're gonna focus on the tanks Got the Brumac turning. and we're just gonna reloading. reload since we can't hit you and now Sid, you hit his other tank. Or other side again. Got the Brumac turning. Okay. I think we can. Can we hit him? Uh, just a little bit out of range. So Let's cover is not quite as important. Now you want to make sure you're looking at the map, map awareness for more evils because they can really pop up technically anywhere. So look, he's going to run around and he can only shoot missiles now. He can stand out in the open like that. Alright, so they can still drop stuff which is... Um, Will important do. to note. So we're gonna prioritize the tanks for now. Got the Brumac turning. Ready. Now, this is a little bit dangerous. Um. I love how she shinses against the wall, but I think that should give us enough, enough of an angle. Go ahead. We're gonna start moving Sid over. Now, outside of the drone, we're kind of comfortable with um, being out in the open. Come on. Did he miss? 65%. Need Is it the reload. range? It must be the range. In. So we're gonna run over here. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Um, got my eyes peeled. What's up? There we go. I think that this I'm taking a gamble but I think these missiles should hit before they can move All right, next move we're gonna move Michaela around so they're closer yeah okay good all right oof he's coming back here So Sid needs to. It's so time, baby. All right. Okay, so we got plus one ammo. Um, 
we are going to move okay. a little bit closer because his range is a serious problem. And we're just going to fully Open reload. 80% chance. So one tank down. First tank destroyed. Keep hammering him. So step three here, now that we're getting into the second phase of the, the fight is we're actually gonna wanna group um, ideally three units on one side. And we actually wanna probably keep him in the central area. Now that he doesn't have weapons, uh, we can just kinda go out there and stand in the open, uh, which we're, we're normally fine with. Um, we're gonna keep this on cooldown, chain shot. Nice. It's okay, I want you to Reloading. reload, and then you get plus 25% damage. Hey, for me. And we're gonna, how far, again, we don't, we're don't. we not too concerned about cover okay. now, because he can't shoot us, and that's hugely beneficial, because we can just kind of focus on distance. Nice. I'm gonna turn around again. And you have your plus 25 damage. And for whatever reason, you're in good shape. So we're gonna just keep you there. Now we wanna make sure, how are we doing on um, Mercid? It's done. It's done for the, the turn. That's okay. We're putting some serious work in on here, um, which is fantastic. And I want to make sure I have enough ammo because there's going to be an e hole. There actually, might be two. We might have been too efficient here. So, some of it is a little bit of luck with positioning. Stay sharp. Room act up in the blast zone. So now he's gonna shoot more rockets. Um, which kind of once you take the weapons out and you can angle. So that's a cheat code area. I didn't notice that before. All right. So again, we're gonna prioritize the e hole. Take these guys out with prejudice. Ooh. See, this is the challenge that I had. I'm now backed Michaela into a corner. Everyone's good. Everyone's ready. Let's go. Seems a little bit too close. Create some distance. All right. All right. Why can't I move Sid? Glitching out. Okay. I'm on it. I think that's enough distance from the stomp. I've got Overwatch. So we're going to forgo this hole because we only have one person there and that's why we kind of wanted three on a side. The challenge is we just didn't know which side we were we were going to need to prioritize. So we're going to move here. I kind of want him to come here. I, I think that's more than a move away. Now 
Now, unfortunately, oh, fortunately, it took out a couple of them. That was super lucky. Oh no, is he gonna stop? Okay, we were out of range. E. Sid's in trouble. Um, I did not overwatch properly with Cole. No, not Michaela. Ow. Um. So the wretched are super hard because they can melee you. Um, so we are gonna drop some group therapy. Who wants to kill some grub? We're gonna come over here. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to use you to close. Oh. Make sure you don't miss that. That would suck. Um. Nope. No, no. I wanted to. Well, you hit him. That's great. But um. So this is highly, highly contentious move. I might get downed, so let's Got see. It. No! Hey, All right, go. son of a gun. Waiting orders. Um. Your I don't know if this is gonna work. I think he's gonna disrupt me, but... He's right here. Um, well, media attack when he moves too close. I... Yeah, he's gonna attack me. Uh, we're screwed. Luckily, we're getting out of the blast range, but he might be able to stop us. We're going to focus on these tanks. And there are going to be more baddies that are going to come out. We're really trying to hopefully have him come this way. Yeah. So we weren't able to close that hole. Oh no, it's over. We screwed up. Spread out. Don't give him an easy stopping target. Yeah, that one does more damage, so I about to launch. I think we died. Well maybe not. Can't, we're gonna need to I'm up our guys. Out. So we really we want to up our guys. We gotta move them.
I'm gonna come here. Kayla doesn't have anything. Oh, that sucks so bad. Um, and you have to reload. Well, step three was a group people on each side, three on each, like three on one side. They bring the e holes, and I did not do that. I got one out there. Well, I did group kind of three. The one got me, which is super unfortunate. Um, Try to kind of cover you. So let's see if we can recover. Um, kind of back Michaela in a corner. I know. Nothing we could do. Um, it would be nice if he stomped the wretch, but I don't think it works that way. Oh, it does work that way. Well, let's see, we need to take out these wretches and then just focus fire down. So step four is focus the, oh no, we lose. We lose. Ah, uh, we lose. That sucks so much. We were so close. So let's see if we can fix this checkpoint and Michaela's actually do this properly. We're seeing heavy locust activity in the city of Claiborne, just like she said. Ukon's there. Good. Be ready. So it's definitely not in. One less thing to worry about. What's going on? Where are we starting from? Reporting. Alright, this is where we kind of made some mistakes. So we're gonna prioritize the e-hole. And we're gonna do two and two. So we're gonna... Oh shit, we can't... I've got overwatch! Hopefully that covers anyone that comes at her. Yeah, so this is really where it went south and I screwed up. Um, oh, shoot. I, I did not mean to use two. See, I'm getting nervous and I'm making stupid mistakes. Heads up, they're coming. So if we can get Michaela out of this bad situation and we can close these e-holes, we should be in good shape. Fantastic. Yeah, Sid was in a good spot. Oh, we're gonna get Spread pushed out. back. Don't give him an easy stopping target. Ah. Rocket, get clear. So, like I said, step four is just prioritize the tanks. We're gonna. Oh no, just... Ow. 
Alright, so we got it. We really. Oh, come on. Alright, so. I'm listening. 10% chance, he's like right there. Thing. Pure talent. Heading out. Gonna... Ready. Stim grenade. I certainly hope I'm outside that blast radius. Ooh, is his foot still in there? I just made another mistake. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Nice. When you need hair trigger, it finally delivers. Um. Well, oh, we can't, we're not going to be able to close that one. That's the challenge. Positioning really matters, and there is an element of luck that you just have to kind of factor. So he can move again. We're not going to risk it. We're going to move well out of the blast radius. Alright, so we're gonna now prioritize step four, which is get tanks. If we can get a solid round, part of the challenge is reloading. Um, okay. Incoming rocket! The reason step four is just prioritize the tanks is that once we blow up the tank, we win the encounter. So that's all we really need to do. Please don't be close enough. Uh, you jerk. Seriously. Yep. All right, Michaela. please thank you all right so we're gonna do Michaela oh nope fast finger don't miss please don't miss oh my god she missed oh that sucks so bad that just screwed us totally screwed us Um, wretches, and then we're gonna try to take out the tank the next turn. So we're gonna reload, wait until they get a little closer. Just 
I'm making We're sure if this here. guy comes at us. Dig in. Here they come. All right, so now we're going to see if we can dodge wretches and take out the tank. I'm still kicking myself before I should have brought to begin with sit over to support to take out the e-hole. Um, if you're super far away from the e-hole, then you might just focus wretches. Watch those rockets. about those guys all right so now it's time nope come here we're gonna move you okay that's the maximum distance we are prioritizing these tanks and we're gonna finish this off or I think we're gonna finish it off. I'm ready to go. We're not gonna make any moves yet. We're gonna see how far we can get. This is it. Give that brew back all you got. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're not gonna move yet. Oh, I did not switch because I'm out of ammo. Son of a. Proceeding on foot. I think okay, it's gonna I'm take good. an extra turn, which isn't like the end of the world, but. Acknowledge. Oh, you still can't. Well, we're gonna. I got this area. We're gonna fall back here. See if we can. Um, should have probably ran sit up a little further than overwatched. And I was playing conservatively. Go ahead. Time to stretch my legs. Shot. Nice. I think we got it, guys. We we had a little hiccup there. Um, What's next? I think we might might have it. Michaela making up for her failures earlier, and that's how you beat the Brumach. Four-step process. Prioritize the weapons. Focus down the e-holes. Move kind of, I, I personally think three on one side and one on the other side is good as long as the e-holes don't uh, pin down your one. And if they do, make sure you bring someone back to protect them. And step four, prioritize the tanks. So there you have it. Wasn't that perfect? It's an ugly fight, but uh, you'll get there. I am not sure how to play this game on insane Iron Man mode, but I might give that a try later. The 
Yes. It's late. I just saw Ukon get his head blown off. And stand right back up. What else aren't you telling me? Your orders are to kill him, not write his biography. The cop put me here before. We're... We're keeping secrets got good people killed. And some secrets also keep people alive. Now do your job. No! Act 2, Chapter 1, two weeks later. So, you're all wondering why we pulled away from the fight, hmm? Frankly, we're not ready for it. That Brumach was just the start. Our enemies got a whole grub zoo, shit no one's even seen yet. And right now, all we have is grit. Which is why your on-the-job training starts today. Look, I don't like it any more than you do. But if there's one thing that the COG is good at, it's making soldiers, you know that. So, we learn what we need, and then we kick Ukon's ass back underground. I'll be overseeing a group today. Major Redburn will take you through your paces later. Lucky me. Now, let's go squash some grubs. <laughs> we have to build an army. All right, has permanently increased to seven troops. Fantastic. We're gonna do some housekeeping here. Some nice weapons, barracks. But uh, that that'll wrap up this episode more or less. Uh, that's how you defeat the Brumach. Four steps. Uh, try it out. If there's a better strategy, please comment. Uh, but that's my opinion, the best strategy. Uh, let's see what we have here. Plus 60 damage. Heck yeah. Um, that's better than nothing. So we're going to take it. At the start of your turn, this unit heals 10% of its maximum health, but this unit receives damage during the most recent enemy turn. Hmm. That seems like a Sid boot. Let's do so. Let's go that route. All right, you already have a pretty good, good barrel. Um. Yeah, we're gonna stick with crit chance, crit damage. All right, we're in good shape. Well, hopefully, if you're up for it, join us for more Gears Tactics in upcoming episodes. That's going to wrap this up. Shadow Coast out.